Okay, so the uh, problem I've been having out at my camp is that the uh, wood stove I have in there is a Vogelzang cast iron box stove. It's a good stove, works well. It's just too big for my camp. It takes up a lot of room. And uh, so I've been trying to find a pot belly stove that I can replace it with. Also, the Tug Hill gets about 14 feet of snow on average a year. And I've been having problems with the snow pushing over my stove pipe. So I'm going to take the pipe out from going straight up, which has the best draw, and go out the wall with a pot belly stove. And I'm also going to move it over into the corner of the cabin, try to utilize as much room as I can because it is a small cabin. And eventually I do want to put uh, bunk beds in there. It'll just be a little easier for the family. So I've been searching. I finally found a pot belly stove. It needs a uh, little TLC, but when I'm done with it, hopefully it'll be nice. So this is what I found. It is an old pot belly stove, like I said, I was looking for. It's kind of cool. It has an American Eagle. It looks like in 1776 on the front here. It's got stars around the top. So it is very cool. I've been just cleaning it a little bit. I'm just going to wire brush it and I'm going to hit it with some uh, high temperature paint. And uh, it should be perfect. It's got a tiny spot to cook on. I have the uh, pieces, I have the pipe, so hopefully it comes out nice. some of the black cast is coming back out. I do this for a couple more hours and hit it with that uh, high heat spray paint. It should come out pretty nice. You can see that. Yeah, this thing says most of the rust has come off them so it should look pretty good.
it came out. Not bad. I like the Eagle 1776. That's pretty cool little design. But uh, a few hours work and uh, not a whole lot of money. And I got a nice little pot belly stove to replace the box stove in my camp. So, should be good.